What up everybody? Today we're talking about parallel verb charts and uh, verb charts are something that we can use to help solve for quantities in a parallel circuit. So here's a parallel circuit. A parallel circuit is just where you have a separate branch for each resistor. In this case, the light bulbs are, are resistors. And you'll notice that each um, light bulb is on its own loop with the battery. So that if you were in a, a, a negative charge, you could only go through one of these and then you have to loop back to the battery. And no branch has more than one, uh, which makes this a simple parallel circuit. So with parallel circuits, there's some rules uh, that help us find different quantities. Uh, first of all, Ohm's law, which is the top row here, uh, relates voltage, I is for current, R is for resistance, and you can you can use whatever form of Ohm's law you need to find stuff. And then uh, P is for power. Power is how many joules of energy are used every second or transferred every second from the battery to whatever is plugged into the battery. So here are the equations that we could use. Uh, and then here are the equations that are, are, are just for parallel circuits. So the following things, these work for anything these following things will only work for parallel circuits. So in parallel circuits, the voltage drop across each of the resistors is the same as the voltage of the battery. And the reason this is, is because each light bulb is like on its own loop. It doesn't share the voltage with anything else. And so if the battery is 12 volts, then all the light bulbs will have 12 volts. Right. They don't have to share the light bulb, share the voltage like they would in a uh, series circuit or a complex circuit. With current, uh, the total current is defined as a current that comes in and out of the battery or whatever voltage source you have. And that current is equal to the current that goes through each of the resistors added together. Right. So if you know the three currents on these three branches, you add them together and that tells you how much current is coming in and out of the voltage source. And that's true for any parallel circuit. Now, resistance is a little more tricky. What actually happens is every time you add a new resistor, you're decreasing the total resistance. Uh, the, de the total resistance is defined as how much resistance the current feels from one side of the voltage source uh, until it comes back to the other side. All right, and you can imagine that each time you open up a new branch for the electricity to flow through, uh, you're opening a new path, so that means more electricity can flow. So that's why you have less resistance. And you can, you can see the formula over here on the left side of the screen. Uh, if you only have two resistors, you just use the first two. If you had four, you'd have to add another one and so forth. But you'll have to do some math to find the total resistance. All right, so here's the verb chart on the right. The V is for voltage, I is for current, R is for resistance, and P is for power. So on the rows, we can use any of our formulas that we saw earlier in the slideshow. But up and down, vertically, we have to use the, the formulas that I just showed you. So the first thing we'll notice is that the total voltage and the voltage of each light bulb are the same, right? And that only happens in parallel circuits. So we put our 40s right there for R1 and R2. Next thing we can do is we can use Ohm's law because we have the uh, voltage and resistance, we don't have the current, but we can find current using Ohm's law. It's just V divided by R. So we do that for the first row and the second row. 40 divided by 10 is four, 40 divided by four is one. Now uh, we can add the currents together, just four plus one equals five, or we can add the resistors together. But if we add the resistors, we have to use that formula. We have to do 1 over 10 plus 1 over 40 is equal to 1 over RT. So the easiest thing to do is add the currents together, which we're going to do there. All right. Now we could add together. We could use that formula to find the total resistance, or we can use Ohm's law because we have the total voltage and we have the total current. So I would rather do that since that's easier mathematically. And so V is equal to 40. I is equal to 5. And so 40 divided by 5 is 8. All right, so we avoided using the 
um, the formula for total resistance, although we won't always be able to do that. Sometimes we'll have to use it. Now, power is just V times I, so 40 times 4, 40 times 1, 40 times 5 gives you all these values for the power. To make sure you did it right, you can add together the powers of the two resistors. 160 plus 40 equals 200, so we got that right. Okay, so I'm going to do one more example. This time with three light bulbs. And uh, if you look at the verb chart, we're kind of stuck now. The only thing that we can do is add the resistors together. So in parallel, it's not a simple addition. Or we have to use the formula. And so we'll do that right here. Now remember, when you're adding fractions, like we're about to, you just add the bottoms. The, 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 I mean, sorry, you just add the tops. The bottom of the fraction stays as it is, right? So you have 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 3. The 15 just stays as 15. And we haven't found the total resistance yet because the total resistance is on the bottom of this fraction. So we're going to have to flip them over, right? And so 3 over 15 is the same as 1 over 5 which means if you find the total resistance, you flip the one over five over five over one, which is just five. So the total resistance of this circuit is five. That should be smaller than e any of the um, individual resistors, which it is. Okay, so that makes sense so far. Now we have current and resistance in the same row, so we can just use Ohm's law to find voltage, six times five. And remember, voltage is the same in a parallel circuit. So if the total voltage, which is the voltage of the battery, by the way, so the battery is 30 volts, is going to be the same as the amount of volts used by the each of the resistors. Okay, so we can have 30, 30, 30 for the light bulbs. Now we can find the current in all three of the light bulbs because we know the voltage and we know the resistance. So if we know two out of the three, we can always find the third using Ohm's law. And uh, that would be voltage divided by resistance. We just do that for all three of the light bulbs and we get two in each case. Now they don't always have to be the same number. It's just that in this case, uh, the resistances were all the same. And so we're getting the same amount of current flowing through each of the light bulbs. All right, last thing for us to do is find the power. And the power is just voltage times current. So V times I will give us all these values. And then we add these three values up to make sure that we got the total. So 60 plus 60 plus 60 is equal to 180. And that just lets us know that we're doing things correctly. And then there we've solved for any, anything we want to know about this parallel circuit. All right, hopefully this helped and I'll see you on another video.